All right, I'm going to show you guys why the Armory Unlock System is the worst thing to ever happen in Call of Duty history. Why don't you look at my daily challenges right here? Blind two operators of flash grenades. Look at the challenge I have activated. Complete daily challenges to unlock flash grenade. How the f*** am I supposed to do it if I can't f blind people? Oh boy. What's up guys? It's Faded. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing awesome as always. And there's been one thing that's been on my mind ever since MW3 released and it's gotten increasingly more and more frustrating to the point that I think it warrants its own video. So today I'm here to talk about MW3's Armory Unlock System and why it is the most unnecessary addition in the history of the franchise. So if you're interested in staying up to date with everything going on in MW3, Warzone, and other FPS titles, consider dropping a subscribe as it helps the channel greatly as we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So my biggest question here is to Sledgehammer Games. Why did you guys feel the need to introduce this system in general. If I was to take a guess, I'd say that you guys knew the progression wasn't going to be slow enough, so you had to include something to pad it out a little bit. Now, if you clicked on this video and you don't know what the Armory Unlock system is, I'll explain. So you get access to it, which by the way, this was not included in the beta, at level 25, and they hide attachments, equipment, and weapons behind this system. So you have to complete daily challenges to unlock the items you want, and this system not only makes the process of unlocking a lot of content unnecessarily complicated, but the game also does such a terrible job of explaining it that many players, including myself early on, were not clear on how it worked. So in terms of what you can unlock from the Armory Unlock system, it's got a total of 58 items at the time of this recording, and a lot of the things locked are essential equipment that you need in multiplayer. And the unlocks page has tabs for all the different items contained within it, and that's where you activate challenges and queue up challenges, so that way when you finish one, it automatically starts the next one. And you'll find things like weapons, aftermarket parts, perks and equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks as well. And a lot of players early on made the mistake of just seeing that something exists as an unlockable meant that they could get it by just leveling up their account, and that's not the case. So the way that the game denotes which items are armory unlocks is by a green sticker next to the locked item. If you go over to your daily challenges, you can activate the item's armory unlock and then proceed to do the most boring assortment of daily challenges I have ever seen in my entire life, which are randomized on a per player basis in order to unlock what you want. So this becomes an issue, however, when you find out that some of the things that you need to unlock also have daily challenges involving those items. If you look at the intro clip at the very beginning, I needed to unlock the flash grenade, but one of the challenges was to blind people with flash grenades, so you can see where the oversight is. But if there's one thing I could say about armory unlocks that's good, it would be that you now see more players actually playing the objective, because sometimes daily challenges will come up which require hard point time, domination fly captures, or even match wins, which now means that people who still need their unlocks will actually make an effort to play the objective and help out the team. But that's going to do it for me, so now I want to hear from you guys. What's your take on the Armory Unlock system? Do you think it's a good or a bad thing for the multiplayer? Drop a comment down below and consider subscribing to the channel if you want to stay in the know regarding MW3, Warzone, and anything FPS related. Other than that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in whatever video I upload next. Take care.